He is the father of rising broadcasting star Noah Eagle, and he will be in the booth this Sunday for CBS to call the Bengals Seahawks game. My buddy Ian Eagle. Ian, Joe Burrow called last week's game in Arizona a must win, and then he delivered. What did you think of Joe's performance and the Bengals' victory over the Cardinals last week? Most importantly, it looked like Joe Burrow. Previous weeks, that was not the guy that we had seen in his uh, time with Cincinnati. So to me, that was the best storyline of all, that Joe Burrow is healthy and Joe Burrow looks the part. There are a bunch of great wide receivers in the NFL right now, and Jamar Chase is obviously one of the very best. When you watch Jamar Chase, what stands out more than anything else? It's almost effortless in how he goes about his business, and that shows you that he's at a different level. I think wide receivers by nature are confident, and most of them can use that to their advantage. Some do not. Jamar Chase, that's real. Uh, that's not him trying to create a character or trying to fire himself up. What he says, he believes. And when he says that he's open all the time, he's probably right. <laughs> he is definitely right. You've done quite a few Bengals games in recent years, and you always have the opportunity to meet with Zach Taylor before the game. What stands out about his leadership and the job he's done in building the Bengals to contender status? He's really thorough, and there is no minute detail that he has not thought of or considered. And I think it says a lot about where we are with modern coaches. Uh, it's been a different job. It's not just X's and O's, that's a big part of it, but managing personalities, handling success, motivating, pushing the right buttons, and I think he balances that really well. Seattle comes to town at 3-1. and one. They've got a three-game winning streak. What are some of the keys this Sunday? Key for Cincinnati, got to force some turnovers. Seattle has avoided it. Can you take that next step? And we saw it last week. Really good sign for this Bengals defense. Uh, I think numbers-wise, I believe they're better than their numbers indicate, and they will be better when the smoke clears. But can you put pressure on Geno Smith, force him into a mistake? Seattle has one turnover this season. One. That's it. That uh, has to change if you're the Cincinnati Bengals. And the running game if we believe in trends, it's been getting a little bit better, incrementally better each week. The hope is this is the week for Cincinnati where they bust through over 100 yards rushing and a real impact. I and your schedule is crazy. I always appreciate your time when you spend a few minutes with us. Thanks so much. Look forward to seeing you on Sunday.